Hello everybody, it's me, Matteo, and I welcome you here in my little RC garage to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how the wheelbase on the new Tamiya CCO2 chassis can be modified, and what wheelbases are easy possible. There are many nice bodies from Tamiya for the CCO1 chassis. As example I have here the Land Rover Defender and Mitsubishi Pajero. Can these also used on the CCO2 chassis? Well, the CCO1 chassis is available in three different wheelbases, 242, 252 and 267 mm. All the bodies are designed for these three wheelbases. So let's see how is the wheelbase on the new CCO2 Mercedes-Benz G500. As you can see it's about 267 mm. It means the wheelbase is the same as the long wheelbase of the CCO1 chassis. This means all CCO1 long wheelbase bodies will fit directly to the CCO2. For example, the Toyota FJ Cruiser. But most of the CCO1 cars are on the short wheelbase. For example, here you can see the Land Rover Defender have 242 mm. Also the Mitsubishi Pajero and Jeep Wrangler have this wheelbase. So, can we modify the CCO2 to get a shorter wheelbase? Well, on the CCO2 chassis the links are not directly screwed on the base plate. These are fixed here on these holders. As I explained in my last video, it's a disadvantage for the ground clearance. But now, this construction is an advantage, because it allows to install the links on different positions. And here are already holes to be able to install the holders on the inner position, and the result will be a shorter wheelbase. All four links are installed on the same method. First, I'll use the inner position for the front links. I have to remove the lower link to get access to the screws of the holder. Now I can remove the screws, move the holder to the inner position and screw it on again. Now you can see both holders are installed at the inner position. Now you can see as a result of this modification the drive shaft fits very tightly. It still works, but I think it would be better to shorten a bit this part here, to get more play. This is easy to do with a knife or dremel. Now let's check the result. How much is the wheelbase? With only one side shortened, the wheelbase is about 255 mm. This means it's a bit longer as the middle wheelbase of the CCO1 chassis. But the Land Cruiser 40 will fit perfect to this 255mm wheelbase. Because Tamiya's originally 252mm wheelbase is a bit too short for this body. Now I have already moved the rear link holders to the inner position also. Here you can see the rear drive shaft fits better. Here is still a small gap and allows a movement of the drive shaft. And the wheelbase we get now with both links on the inner position is about 245 mm. Unfortunately this is also a bit longer as the originally short wheelbase of the CCO1 chassis. You can see it here also, it's a little bit longer as the 242mm of the CCO1 chassis. But for example here, the Defender 90 body fits perfect to the 255mm wheelbase. Because here also, the original wheelbase of the CCO1 chassis was a bit too short for this body. You can see it here. So for this body it's an advantage to get a few more millimeters of wheelbase. 
but for other bodies like the Pajero we need exactly 242mm, more modifications are necessary, for example to use shorter links. But now, because of the different position of the axle, the damper and steering servo fits not perfect. When removing these screws, the damper and servo holder position can be changed and so get it on a good position for the shorter wheelbase. Here you can see with removed screws I can move the part backwards and screw it on the new position. If it's a problem because of the servo size, maybe it can be an option to install the servo in the upright position as explained in the manual. And now, as you can see, the damper and servo sits good, straight over the front axle. This adjustment can be done on the rear end of the chassis also. So, I hope you like this information. On the CCO2 chassis, three wheel bases can be reached very easy. 245, 255 and 267 mm. Unfortunately, the middle and shorter wheelbase is not exactly the same as on the old CC01 chassis. But as you saw in this video, some of them fits good to the old bodies. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time at Matheo's RC Movies.